Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 51, Part 2. It's the 5th of June, 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. I'm Adrian, I play Arya Bluebird, the half Hill Druid. Sean, I play Bastille, the Wolf Lodge Cleric. Hey, I'm Scott, I'm playing Crumbar, who is currently in a lot of problems. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitleth Anastasia, a very full Wood Elf Rogue. I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Pretty sure Crumbar is a half orc uh, paladin, but sure. <laughs> I mean, I mean, relevant. I, I, I don't know what I am anymore. I, I just <laughs> seem to get in bad situations, so I'm unlucky. Yeah, so yeah, let's. Now that Sophie's joined us, why don't you all have a wee. A, out of character chat Holy for the next fuck. five minutes, right? So, yeah, you just want to give her the blow I, by blow? I think the best way to describe it is just screaming noises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so okay. You know how I had King all these died. plans to, like, go find, you know, go find Eremos and, and save him and, you know, make sure he grows up to be a good boy? Yeah. Mm. She's, oh, not, yeah. she's not missed that many sessions, by the way. Like, <laughs> yeah, all the way back to session twenty, you know. <laughs> so remember. Like so let's let's see. Best, you're yeah, just very okay. quiet. That's yeah. why everybody's talking over you. Oh, I, I, oh I, sorry. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna just let him speak though, since he did mm. try for about five times there. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Yes. The king did end up dying. Uh, the assassin was that kid, Eremos. <laughs> uh, we dragged him out. Yeah, we dragged him out. I brought him back from the dead. And now we're we're just running around scrambling yeah, trying to track this assassin down. And our first portal call was Dondrabella, who sent us on a mission to get a component for a spell so we can find the assassin as soon as possible. Okay. But she did not count on that unluckiness of Crumbar. <laughs> You're gonna fill what did you do now? So we're, we're going to use Eremos's book to uh, track him as like a kind of focal point for the spell, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, but as we're kind of left to go find these components, I thought, I've got an idea. Let's open up the book and see if there's anything in that. And Ryan made me get sucked into the book. Ah, oh, okay. Well I mean, done. I mean, he read the book and loads of blackness came out at him. So... Yeah, I don't think you're sucked into the book. I've got a few Eremoses in the book. Oh my I'm god, not... I'm Eremos! Oh, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah, a dragon, but... <laughs> yeah, um... We're assuming, though, at the moment, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah, any questions, I, I, Sophie? I, I, I'm... Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> No? Sorry, I think All good. everyone talked at once there. Yeah, I said any questions, Sophie? Um so did he did Eremos recognise us or was it like a he's been brainwashed and he's like mindless killing assassin? No, no he uh, recognises us. Huh. Not a great what? fox thing. <laughs> I had a I had a couple of words with him before he was like, Bye Zof. Frank Yeager. So has he, like, aged at all, or is he still, like, this child, but is now an assassin? No, he's, he's like... He's aged, apparently. No? Did not say that he aged? Mm -hmm. Well, he's, de he's definitely grown up. Whether he's aged is a different... I mean, he's Sorry, also, as I said, we did show this last time, and I'll show it again mm -hmm. now. Um, like, he looked like... Oh, yeah. He, was well. the, he is the grown-up Eremos that I've seen in my visions, which... I ex oh, oh yeah, I've also explained that I seen him in my visions when I had trippy wings. And uh, for Sophie's benefit as well, um, there's like a doodle of the spear he was holding. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Has he lovingly called it the Black Fanged Spear by any chance? That's what yeah. I'm thinking, but no, no, no confirmations yet. Oh, uh, yeah. By the way, we're going to go and try and get a piece of the the throne uh, to use as the focus for. The spell. Cool. Just so you can uh, know, which you'd be happy about because, you know, shiny throne. Mm. Don't know if I can carry it though. <laughs> but, it's, it, but it is in pieces, so you should Shards probably. Now. Yeah. 
Surely you'll find a tiny shard to steal. Um, take. <laughs> <laughs> it's more just the weight limit on my bag. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting there? Uh, I mean, yeah, I pretty much. Got, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, she lives there. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's like it's like this. One thing goes out of the bag to reduce the tiniest bit of weight, but then I find something else within that same mm. time frame. I'm 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 just expe- I just assume that you have like a it's Skyrim the, backpack. No, it's the Indiana Jones. Full of everything. It, it's like as soon as the weight limit goes down, she has to equally like replace it with something really quickly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, yeah. everything else in the bag will slide to fill Correct. that space. Yeah. Django. Nope. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah. So I think. I think I'm uh, caught up then. Yeah, any other, any questions that you have at all, or are you all good? I think I'm all good. Good, good. I think. It's okay, if you, if you do need some kind of retroactive how did this play out, just let us know and we can yeah. get replay for you. Um, I think we'll start with Crumbar, for no reason at all, other than he opened a book. I'm starting to think you don't like me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Or I'm just, or more, either that, or I'm starting to think I just shouldn't do anything ever again. <laughs> so, Crumbar. Yes. To uh, avoid all of that, um, I mean, I run two games for you, Scott. I feel like you're you're doing okay. Um, <laughs> I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> hey, you got the wish. Yeah. Right. And he, yeah, this well, is the he shit I get. One hand, he takes with the other. <laughs> <laughs> Why else would I have two hands? <laughs> yeah, that was, a, one that was one Kitlis, how many uh, I have to that. <laughs> I don't know, there's a couple I wouldn't mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, witty okay. banter. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm so full from food. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome to oh. the Keepers of the Golden Gate after hours. <laughs> yeah, right. It is after the watershed, I think, right? So we're good. Um, I mean, somewhere, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> so. Unless you're listening to this before the watershed, in which case, how dare you? You ignored all the warnings. <laughs> Imagine if you should have the watershed. Uh, no, but it does have like a uh, aging controls. Um, like, is this oh, better safe for kids and whatnot? Yeah. So none, none <laughs> no of my videos way, no are safe. Not. No, these have been horrible, Terramos. Definitely not safe for kids. Um, <laughs> you just took him to like the fucking tear into hell. Like, you're so terrible adoptive parents or kidnappative parents. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so in this weird black space, uh, you're standing on the stone floor. Okay, Crumbar. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're staring at Eremos. At Eremos or old Eremos? Who would you expect to see? I expect to see the adult one. Yeah. Oh, you're right on the money, buddy. So, it is the adult one. And he's standing there with his spear. Do I, do I have my stuff with me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, cool. cool. No worries. Just checking. Um, I'll be able- So this is where you ran and hid. There's just um, a very shark tooth grin that creeps way up his face and the smile seems to go further than it should. And he, his eyes look up at you first um, from the floor. And then the smile kind of just fades into that kind of passive, non-expressive face. And he says, I'm not hiding. You lost me. Hey. Wow, way to make me feel good. Technically, I was kidnapped, but yeah, I'm just I, I, how I, much I, do I we was, want I, I, to see? Yeah, yeah, no, no, keep I'm in gonna, mind, I'm, yeah, yeah, he I was, was kidnapped back. Was saying, no, keep <laughs> in mind, he was in a coma. All right. Uh-huh. I'm gonna gonna pair that up. Remember, punched out by a tree beast thing in the garden. Yep. That that was on you guys. I wasn't there that session. <laughs> oh, whose fault is it really then, eh, Scott? Shut up. I'm sorry I had <laughs> this thing. Um, 
I am just going to say to that. So he said that, and I'll be like, "Yeah, you, you lost me. <laughs> yeah, you weren't lost. You were taken from us." And he kind of just stares at you as if he's kind of staring through you. Well, you can see him kind of grip on this weird, almost formless spear that he's holding. Mm -hmm. And you can hear it like drag along the stone floor. Um, like as if he's just like. Like it had been leaning on like a staff, and then it's as if he's like went to tilt it so it's horizontal, but the scraping mm -hmm. sound on the floor, you can definitely tell there is like a solid surface beneath you. Even though there's no other kind of visuals to go on. Um, it's actually kind of impressive. You can make out the details of the spear in the dark. And uh, he says, So you gave up. Yeah, I think um, I'm right in saying that it's only me that's here. Mm -hmm. sure. right. um, we, have not, we have not given up. We just need to find a way that we can take on the Wizard King, as it was him who stole you from us. You let him take me, then, and you think you can stop him now? I would have stopped him then if I was strong enough. There's the smile again. A big kind of very sharp toothed smile. Can I just admit the importance that I have literally just admitted for the first time in ever that I was weak? Oh yeah. And to uh, no one. Well, yeah. your last bottle of wine did floor you. <laughs> <laughs> My last bottle of wine got me a kick that. Of sword, so... <laughs> <laughs> it was all planned. Yeah, and I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I'm actually many bad guys in this game. <laughs> But yeah, so there's the smile of that and it says, you're still weak. Um, I think the exact wording that it would maybe use would be to mirror what you said and it would be, you're still mm. not strong enough. <laughs> um, you can say that out loud, Aria, if you want. I was saying, I see you still a rude motherfucker. <laughs> yep. I did not want this, though. Um, I think to that, I'll be... Um, no, I won't do that, actually. What I'll say is... Start playing meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be like well you've clearly got some strength around you now any suggestions on how I, I become stronger and he just stares again as if staring through you his eyes are quite like narrowed as well like they are focused um, and they uh, it's going to smile dissipates again and it doesn't really seem to be moving either, right? Like, there's not much in the way of body language from him. He just kind of just seems to be present, right? Just standing there, um, with the spear kind of, again, like, at his back, like, held horizontally. And he says, You are not like me. I was never like you. It was foolish to look up to you when I did. I think as he says that I would kind of like you know like jab my finger into like my front teeth, like my bottom jaw, like, my, like you know I've got like my teeth that mm -hmm. protrude out my mouth like jab my finger on one of them and just be like you're right there I'm not like you, but that doesn't mean I don't still care about you. I don't still want what's and I don't still want what's best for you. 
Eremos, what have you become? You used to just want books. Now you're out for murder? That is not the boy I knew. You just hear laughing start to like well up. He kind of like leans forward and uh, the hair all like falls from his shoulders down like covering like his face and stuff and um, you just hear the kind of slow laughing that builds up to like kind of fill this big echoey chamber um, and he after like you know a couple of seconds of this kind of like staring up and the hair all falls back again kind of revealing all of his sharp angles of a face yeah he kind of like sighs out and it's like it's not what I've become it's what I am and always was I'm going to just speak out yes the black fang spear I kind of like he looks down at obviously the spear he's holding and then back up at you just as like a reaction to that Mm. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Mm. I'll just kind of gesture towards the spear and just like, so am I right in saying that that is the spear in question? Narrows his eyes like he's processing that statement. And then a uh, like the eyes kind of like soften again and he says you still have no idea what I am do you enlighten me then he kind of looks down like like sadness is looking kind of crawled over his face and then he the kind of spear comes by his side so it's no longer like horizontal and at his back and he looks up at you and he says You want to know how to get stronger? You have to give up on weaknesses like me. And then he throws the spear at you. Motherfucker! Yeah. Um, everybody else, by the way, um, as you have like stepped outside the library and you are waiting, obviously, on him walking out, and you see him like open the book. Um, he then just like as he's walking out of the doors, he then just gets like slammed back with the book into like the door that like buckles it off of its frame. Remember you want to take a wee uh, 2d6 damage for me? What's that? You want to take a wee 2d6 damage for me buddy? And you get smacked into the door as it like unhinges the giant stone door of the library. I'm not really lucky with doors, are you? Sure, if yeah. you, uh, <laughs> are you? Are you wanting to roll it? Or no, I, I want you to roll it. I want you to be to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Your penis. There we go. A cheeky seven. Um, what is math? Remember, you yeah, can it's just... It's your token's fixed, seven. by the way. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah, because I'm great that way. What was up with? Who knows? It's fixed now. <laughs> Who knows? We fixed <laughs> um, Right, cool. That but, has been taken. Cool. And, uh... Yeah, like, for everybody else, that just was Grumbar picking up a book, trying to read it, and then getting smacked backwards by something, like, as if almost, he, you know, he had a negative reaction to the book. Obviously, to Grumbar, <laughs> all of that exchange happened. Um, oh, okay. What the bloody hell are you doing? Oh, you am I? Uh, sorry, am I? Speeding? Sorry, am I awake now? Oh, yeah. You're, or, all, you're all just on the floor, like, leaned up against a, a door that's about to snap off its hinge. All right. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, re repeat qu uh, questions again. Most of us. What the <coughs> hell are you doing? Uh, I got that. I didn't hear what Arya said. I said, as if you needed more reasons to hate books. <laughs> and like, I mean, seven damage. You know, I you know, just stand back up, kind of like cracking my neck back into place and kind of brushing myself off, and be like, "Yep." Yeah. Books and still not my friend. What's with you, me, and books, by the way, Ryan? Jesus, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan put me in a book in another game as well. No, oh. no let's just say Scott went and said, I want to go to the library. That is what he said. I never put him nowhere. 
<laughs> it's a lies <laughs> end here, Scott. <laughs> so cool um, <laughs> but yeah, so stand up, crack my neck, and pop, pop in my neck, and be like, and I'll just be like, the boy's in the book. Uh. Hmm. The book's lying open oh, face down, by the way. And what, sorry? The book's lying on the floor in front of you, face down, open. And open, yeah. You are like page down, I guess, open. And there's just ink pouring out of it. All right, you start it with a basilisk thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd just walk up in the. Uh, like close the book and then pack it up if that makes sense is it still leaking sort of holding it like Ew. Don't, yeah. don't, don't touch that what are you doing it is still leaking yeah um so i've closed is it still leaking as i've closed it yep i'll be like just looking at the book and i was like i was trying to make sure he didn't get out again Um, kind of draw my hammer and say, "Well, maybe we want him." What? Sorry, you cut out, mate. No, he didn't. He says he wants to draw his hammer, and maybe he wants him. Maybe we want him out of the book. Um, two seconds. I'm actually just going to turn you up on my end a bit, minute, man. Uh, Sorry, I'll turn myself up. Well, that's cool. I'll everybody, turn everybody up. Um, <laughs> everybody, do the flop. <laughs> um, I'll, 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 I'll just turn to uh, Bastion like you've seen what he done to your king right what do we do then I look towards Arya for an answer No sense. Why would he do this sort of thing? How did he grow up so quickly? <laughs> Don't they always? <laughs> <laughs> Blink of an eye. <laughs> <laughs> he mentioned that we still don't know what he is. Hmm. So I well, don't... He never so told I, us, and I think we did ask. Yep. But I don't think he we can apply our laws of time to him. How did how did go in the throne room without magic? I just kind of laugh at that. I'm like, he, I'm pretty sure he just is magic. Mm. I'm more surprised by the fact that he managed to have a well, it's obviously a magical item in that room. I don't think any normal spear could have done that yeah. sort of damage. When was Eremos ever normal? <laughs> when he just exhibited enthusiasm at the idea of new pots of ink and parts. <laughs> I just kind of laugh at Remember like, the I, just, yeah, I just kind of give a like a bit of a giggle at your kind of very simplified view of of times of past yeah obviously i'm saying it kind of sarcastically as well like yeah but it's just i mean the, the kid obviously wasn't normal to like be told hey join us for an adventure and just to go with a bunch of strangers well, hey. I mean, let's face it, the first time we ever met him, I wanted to put him in a bag, so... This is true. <laughs> ah, memories. Yep. We sign that over to the king. What, sorry? The book. Let's hand that over to the king. Uh, uh, like, my, you just kind of see my grip on the book kind of tighten. Yeah, the leather of the bit. book just, like, creak ever so satisfyingly. Yeah. 
and I just like, <laughs> and, and I'll just and I'll just stare at Bastille with no reply. <laughs> ink <laughs> leaking down your armor now. <laughs> there is an ink stain on your armor as well, by the way. See like where the spear should have hit. What? Yeah, there's an ink stain. How? There. What do you mean how? My you armor can't be my, my, my armor can't be tarnished. I mean, I'm well. sure you think that. <laughs> no, did, did, no, did you, yeah, no, did you not say you that? You probably like, also cannot teleport into a room where magic doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, like no, but special. I'm, I'm right. I'm right in saying that the golden order armor you can't paint it or discolor it or that. You can't deface it. So really. what it's does that mean yeah. if there's a stain on it? <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's some serious shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like someone you know. threw Worf across the bridge of the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all massive nerds. Yeah, we are. I love it. Killer yeah, King, you can do this and that, but you cannot stay in our armor. Quick, I'm King, wear this. <laughs> yeah, I'm more like the bitch better play for the dry cleaning on this. I can't imagine Golden Order armor is cheap to clean. <laughs> It'll be a first for them. If anything, it's really cheap to clean because it doesn't ever get tarnished. But uh, here we are. <laughs> um, is but yeah, a, a, like... sorry, I'm I'm a, I'm kind of rolling off. So yeah, um, yeah. as I say, I kind of just grip the book a bit tighter and just stare at Bastille. Uh, who side are you on, Krumba? You tell me you work for a dark elf. You just watch a mighty king who hosted us get destroyed by your little friend. I think, Are you uh, not one force to the left? Yeah, I, um, I think uh, as well, just while, during that conversation, when you've said you work for a dark elf, I, I would have butted then and just been like, I worked for the, for the golden dragon. The great gold worm. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember his I name? still don't know shit about that. I should probably make an effort I to am, learn about I am that in character. Um, shit, I, I, I've closed down my Google documents because I am a total not stupid. Um, <laughs> would you call him by his name or by the title, Great Gold Worm? I, I would call No, nah, yeah, I'd call him by his title. Yeah, the Great Gold Worm. You're good then. I don't think yeah. I'd recognize his name. Oh, Lord and Savior. <laughs> Praise be to Dragon Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we had Norse Jeebus earlier, and now we've got Dragon Jesus. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, I've got his name, I just have no idea how to pronounce it. A U D Odyssey. Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah. Do I even recognize what that is? is the Great Gold Worm. Special... You know who the Great Gold Worm is. It is the God Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Okay. That was well known. That would have been something you'd have known. Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. yep. My abilities literally harness the bitch slap of God. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> With untarnishable tarnished armor. Mm. Mm. So yeah, you cut me off there. Yeah. But do you like hear the rest, or is that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome? Like I'm just saying, like as you were saying that, I would oh, have okay. barked that out. Okay. Um, and then you finished about mentioning Celeste, and I'll just be like. Everything that we have done has been for Celeste to find this, I guess, bloody spear, and I'm hold and you know, and I'm holding it in my hand, and I do uh, not give up on Eremos. I think. Can I check if he's lying? Sure. Yeah. Can you then see? I mean... Shit! I left it on the thingy. So Krumbar... It doesn't, doesn't matter. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Krumbar, do you want to just... Or should I say, Scott, do you want to answer a Bastille's question? Or <laughs> Shan's question, I should say. Yeah, um, nope, not lying. I meant every word of it. Well then, nope. if if I feel like that you're not lying about it, that's the whole Celeste thing, then I will prioritise her. And I'll leave it. Um, you just gonna leave it? Okay. Well, I'll say. Say. Do you, hmm. You know full well by now. 
how many innocent lives die with Patrick Vanger? Uh, who the fuck was Patrick Vanger? <laughs> Dwarven King. <laughs> He's already forgotten. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm like, I'm jumping between like the two tabs that give me the names of people. Um, because you know fine well everyone to me is just the Drekker. Unless <laughs> and it's down. actually confusing me now because I remember them as being the Drekker. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Ryan I, told me about this character, Jen. He was like, the party thinks everyone's called Drekker. Yeah. And it's fully turned out like that. So, can I mention the part no, where there is a document, right? A Google document I created <laughs> that has all the NPCs I can remember that I've put in. So. I don't know why users have other tabs other than just to get into that document. I don't see MDLs in that document, <laughs> so I don't know where users are reading from. I just remember. In the tab that's on the game manager, I also linked the I document. There's totally a tab with everyone's name and shit. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing users are meant to be filling out to track people, just so you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, I just fill out my own shit because I'm a baller. Uh, you just, um, but then you can't track it. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that last question or uh, statement? Statement. Uh, it was you know full well how many people, how many innocent lives die with Patrick. I just kind of growl at you and will don't mention innocent lives to me. And you just kind of see me grip my sword, not by the hilt, but like on the actual blade. Oh, is it? Oh, the uh, the the like Celeste sword. Yeah, yeah, the great sword. Why the blade? Blade. Hmm. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this chunk. By that, do you mean fragment and not cumber? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, um, where are you going with this? Oh, I'll just, I'll leave it there. Because <laughs> now I'm kind of thinking, like, um, there's like a fire in the that that he's going to, like, jump out a second again. So, let's probably just go and grab the damn chunk and then sort this out later. <laughs> I love how you went from being like, this is the throne of my kingdom. Ah, it's a chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I really um, want it. Yeah, um, I would, before we, I'm assuming we're going to leave, I would pass the book back to Arya and be like, I think it is best that you keep a hold of this. And just hand it, like hold it out to her. The book is um, still dripping a bit from ink, by the way. Just yeah, so that's you know, what I would here. be like, very careful about, because I'm like, you know, pick it up very gingerly and kind of like, you know, like when you pick up something wet and you don't want to put it yeah. anywhere, but you don't want it to touch anything either. So I'm kind of holding <laughs> it a bit away from me. And at the same time, I'm like, I mean, I know this, obviously that we have to take it with us, but I'm still very confused as to what the fuck to do with it. Since it is. Yeah, the two guards at the I doors of the library are just look awkwardly looking at her like, oh God, please don't ask us anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, fellows. Have you got a bag we could put this uh, drippy book in <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> right. Remind me to tell you a funny story no. at the end of this about <laughs> drippy. Why on earth things? would a drippy book remind you of something? I don't think I will. Remind more... you, Scott. I'm not good just as is. Um... It's, it's more a bag to put drippy stuff in. Just oh, I've got a no, we're good. Funny... Yeah. Stay in the game. <laughs> Stay in the game. Oh god. <laughs> um, the uh, one of the guards looks at you, Kitlith, and says, <clears throat> uh, Can't leave our post, man. Oh, I just should have, like, oh, um, I feel old. I'm only like 160. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really young for an elf. <laughs> it is. <laughs> There was definitely a pause before the word ma'am as well, by the way, because, yeah. I just, like, slyly in, in Crumbar's shiny, shiny armour, like, looking, if I got crow's feet? Like, 
<laughs> and maybe when you're looking then that's when you notice that there is clearly like a big mark that would be like where a spear would have pierced the armor all covered yeah. like an in ink <laughs> hey you've got dirt on you <laughs> Um, I was just kind of looking down at it and be like, I'm oh, worried. First of all, am I still holding the book? No, you give it to Arya, right? Okay, cool. Um, dooby dooby doo, give me a wee second. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. don't. Arya, what do you do with the book while well, he's having a think to himself? Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm kind of just holding it and trying to figure out, you know, if it's going to stop bleeding. Bleeding? <laughs> yeah. Well, dripping. Um, I mean, it still seems to be dripping. Also, gonna... Stu, go move your mic up above your nose for us. Um, yeah. You've yeah. got your breathing. Yep. It's cool. No, it's not breathing. It's like a, it's you are like still a, alive. It was good, though. It, it meant you were present. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, what do you do with the book? I'm actually gonna have a look at it and see if I can like open it. Yeah. Yeah. If it's just mess of ink on paper, or if it does something special for me too. Yeah. So while um, <laughs> Kitty and while Kitty and Cornbora are having their little chat, you like, you know, try and avoid some of the drips of the ink that are coming from it, and uh, you open it up, and the last thing that seems to still be in the book, everything else seems to be blank. Like the inks literally ran from the pages. Um, the last thing that's in there is the picture of all of you when you found him. I'll I'll look at it and I'll turn it to the guys and be like, "Look, look, he still cares about us." As it drips down the page slowly. Oh, so that's dripping as well. Never mind. Last I mean, thing to go. Something that is. It must mean something that is the last thing to go. I'm like, maybe it's a cry for help. Maybe it's not entirely gone. I mean, is the ink going anywhere when it's dripped? Like, is it running somewhere? Or is it just disappearing into the floor? So imagine you had a bottle of ink in your hand and you just tipped it on the ground. Okay. Like that. Just puddle. Yeah. Mm. Okay, because I was thinking that when... Uh, when Follow the ink! The note, <laughs> Way back when, like, in, like, God, fucking episode three. Yep, yep. <laughs> like, he left a note to say that he was going somewhere. And I, like, took it and read it and was like, yeah, let's not tell anyone about that. Yeah, the Burns I have, it. it was the I have gone note. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took it and burnt it and it returned to him. Like, the ink was going up his arm, so. I mean, yeah. as a ink character, I wouldn't know that. But yeah, it was Reach that knew that, because um, Reach was on the camel with Theramos, um, mm. and that's when he was kind of playing with it, and Reach was like, well, what is that you've got? And uh, after, the, when you set up camp, he'd show him, he's like, look, and it said, I have gone, in letters that wrapped, like, chased around his arm, his hand. Mm. So yeah, well remembered. Mm. All right, so it's just literally a mess on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> just sort of like... I'll just prod it with something. Yeah, like a dagger or something. Just like take out a dagger yeah. and start poking at it. And yeah, it just gets um, a bit of ink on your dagger. While, while she's doing that, the spot on my armor, I'll be like you know, brushing up my hands with, trying to like get it off. Yeah, and it just stains your hands like ink would. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. I guess it's stopped then. So, uh, what's the plan, gang? What, sorry? Uh, uh, what's the plan, gang? Well, if Did I... you say, is the ink actually dripping on the ground and staying on the ground? Yeah, yeah. that's this thing. Yeah, it's staying. All right, cool. Okay. Right. So if I notice that Reach, out, like... Awkward. If Reach is like the... Uh, he doesn't seem emotionally shaken by this Irma story, and I'm seeing all this heresy behind all this... Like, you, both, you guys are like having a mud bath. It's like... Ink bath. Uh, like, yeah. So I'll probably reach out to Rita, so yeah. Let's go get this bloody throne. Don't know I if getting like the throne is useful now. <laughs> I don't know exactly where he is. 
Uh, unless you want to see Elder Throne later on, but uh, well, I don't know because I don't know what the spell is. The spell purely to locate, him, say, or yeah, is, we, yeah. She, she didn't really. Because I don't know if the spell. You just never spell. asked her what spell to cast, and she never said what yeah. spell she plans to cast. But you both seem to be on the same page. Well, we yeah, said exactly, we want like... uh, to uh, find him. Uh, I mean, we've got an item that it belonged to him. Oh, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking, like, I assumed it would be like to imprison, like to, I don't know, lock him down. Mm. I mean, you can think that. What do you guys think it meant? Just point, point where he is, like locate. Him. Yeah, yeah. Oh right, sorry. I thought you meant like lock him down, like, can, like imprison him to stop him from moving. That's what I thought the sorry. spell was like. I'd recommend no, I th opening yeah. the book. But I just thought it was like. Lincoln, Lincoln. I just thought it was going to be like sat nav, but for Aramis. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. What do you want to do then? If you don't want to go. I mean, you just could go spell. back in the door that you broke and be like, uh, Dundra Bella, what exactly was the spell you were going to cast? <laughs> just, just for. I know your king's like already died once today and the assassin's still potentially at large, but like, you know, can we ask him a couple more questions? Oh, that's so incompetent. <laughs> well, the spell we asked him to well, do was when to locate him uh, through a possession. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. We I mean, don't need that now anyway, so ideally we probably want to either hang about, do nothing, or get away. <laughs> I, get think away. We should, I think we should just go and get the shard of the thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see yeah. this spell through, because what if it's like something to draw him out of? We should just see what she wanted to do. Yeah, let's go get this bloody chunk. Yeah, yeah, okay. Bloody chunk. <laughs> go. Okay, okay. Uh, so these are all heading to the throne room again. Yeah, we definitely yeah. need to investigate more. Cool. Uh, after a while, the book stops dripping, by the way, are you? Like, maybe like halfway there. So Fair sure. enough. I've still left breadcrumb like yeah. just, signs like, behind me. <laughs> just to occasional drip, right? Like not, not like pouring like it did initially after a, a volleyed crumb bar against the door. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I like how we was all like Oh yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point anything to do with Eremos and books were just like eh, it's, it To be fair, Crumbar drank maybe wine and then his axe turned into a sword after a coma no. so yeah, it's true. like during a corridor that was way too long and short and went to places it shouldn't have went to that nobody seems to talk about existing anymore so there's been a lot of weird stuff that have just been accepted right and that's the stuff we never question um but yeah so you said through back up the kind of the weaving passageways again um to the throne room yeah you get there uh, there is a massive pile of broken shards of the throne. There are guards obviously surrounding like the steps and whatnot of the throne room itself. And the uh, the king is standing like over the shards. Um, as you get there though like, the guards obviously block your your entryway. Mm. He's not doing a good job of hunting down that assassin is he? Yeah. Crying over his chair. I mean, maybe after an hour of walking about, he got a bit tired and went, went oh, I forgot I broke. <laughs> <laughs> where do I sit now? Yeah, I, like, where, I where do I sit my now? Broke. <laughs> also, keep in mind, Quick he did. Peasant, he broke crawl. Hand <laughs> <laughs> on your hands and knees and I'll sit there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, that poor peasant. Um, but yeah, so you're kind of like at the. The double doors in. That are still buckled from when the hammer hit one of them. Yeah, I was saying, Dwarven, uh, Dondrabella believes uh, she can conjure a spell for finding this. We need to access the throne room. Ah, uh, tell me the field. Uh, actually, we need a focus, and we, we think perhaps it be a throne might do it, unless you've got something better. The guards look at each other and they're like, one moment, and then, like one of them shuffles off inside. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I feel like, like they wouldn't understand shit. Yeah, like the, the <laughs> team was like, 
those were all words I know. And then they, they yeah, exactly. Because like Don Diablo, obviously, <laughs> like she is well known in in the city, right? Um, mm-hmm. Being the the top tier lore master. Um, but yeah, he shuffles off and then comes back after like maybe three minutes or whatever of thing, and he says, uh, uh, "Go in." And then he just like steps aside, kind of pushing the other guard out of the way a bit. Out of my way, bitch. <laughs> Say thanks. And head in. Mm-hmm. Dun 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 dun. Walk up the stairs. Make our way towards the king. Dun, Anyone dun, stop dun, us? Dun. Uh, no, because like the guards are mostly at the uh, at the doors and the entrances <laughs> to the room. Assassinate him again. No joke. Uh. <laughs> I'll just get rid of these. That would be a bad day dying twice. That would be horrible, <laughs> right? Yeah. That just sounds like a really like, bad James Bond I was about one. literally about to say it's a Bond movie, right? The day I died twice. <laughs> like, I was literally about to say that. Well done. Um, the day I died twice. Man, now my art's out of date. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a chair in that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just like sitting on one armrest that stood up. That remains. Hey, no, like literally none of the form sadly remains. It is all like, you know, little chunks. Sadly, well, the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, wow. the whole thing shattered. Mm-hmm. Yup. Raised. Yup, yup. Uh, I guess I'll start off with any luck. So, like, as you all approach up, right? Um, like. Just before you say that, you see him kind of um, standing, just staring at the pile, and like he pushes some of the uh, the fragments aside and just picks up his pipe from the the rubble and kind of just slowly dusts it off. My man, uh, like rubs it twice against the uh, the chest, and he stops and like and he like he puts his hand against where obviously the wound should be and then, like pops it in his mouth and then looks up. Oh, yeah, that's when maybe you see. Any luck. He takes the pipe out of his mouth. And he puts his hand back on the hammer that was just standing, obviously, next to him. And he picks it back up off the ground. And he says, Unfortunately not. Yet. Your master... Oh, sorry. That's all he says. Yet. Oh. He, he makes a point of, like, adding that so as not to sound like he's gave up. Yeah. Fire in his heart. Oh yeah. Spear uh, in his master... chest. No wait, no, that was earlier. <laughs> your master lawkeeper believed, well, you need to focus for a, a spell she believes might help us track this assassin down. And we thought that perchance we could use a fragment of the throne. A powerful focus indeed. He narrows his eyes and he looks down at it. And he just leans down, pipe in his mouth again, and just like picks up a chunk of the throne and kind of just holds it and stares at it for a bit. Kind of like turns it over in his, his hand as if remembering something about it. And then he says, Well, there you go. He says with a pipe in his mouth. Mm. And uh, just hands it to you. Yeah. Take it and I'll ask him how he's feeling. I'll, I'll give him like a mortal stare. Like I'm staring through the windows of his soul. Zombie. And he looks at you and he says, How am I feeling? Mm. I am angered, son of Elric. I think he was uh, inquiring of your health, if you are uh, better. Yeah, but and he, he, at this point he then says, if there is anything else we can do to assist the Master Lord Keeper, be sure to let my guards know. And he kind of like turns, like a half turn away from you guys. Yeah. And he sits I can't the, relate. He kind of sets the hammer 
back on its end as it's like perfectly balanced standing up again. What were you going to say there? Sorry, Bastille? Yeah, I can't relate to living, so I can't relate dying mm. back. I'm just going to leave it. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and it's kind of like, I mean, what, what was I supposed to say? I feel great, thanks, buddy. Like, he's pissed <laughs> off, right? Yeah. I was fishing for him saying, not myself. Mm. Some, like the whispers of demon scream within <laughs> me. I have been oh, no. preserved. <laughs> now you're just an instrument of the secret demon invasion. That's all you are, Bastiel. <laughs> you're slowly replacing the leaders of the world with the demon <laughs> generals. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> also, that's not true. <laughs> mm -hmm. As far as you yeah. can tell. So, hold the chunk close. Probably the same Cromba was holding the book with that bang in the back of my mind. Just subconsciously mimicking body language. And uh, head on out. As you just, like, start to like go down the stairs, you then hear him say, I have not forgotten our conversation before this. You are not permitted to leave the city. Am I understood? I'll nod for now. We'll deal with that later. And yeah, then there's just that shot of you guys like walking towards the camera with him in the background raised up on the the plateau. Just kind of staring off into the distance. Uh, You'll give the zombie his He doesn't way. sound very grateful, does he? He really doesn't. I'm kind of wishing we just let him die. No, we'll let him. He needs to die just pros. It's not every day you die, right? It's a big deal. You know. We are right. Mm -hmm. You know, Hela did not claim her prize this day. The Valkyries <laughs> were fought off, you know. Mad at me now. Mm -hmm. Denied her a king's soul. Yeah. Sure you want to go after those Hellblades? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm a necromancer. Mm. <laughs> so right. we make our way back to the oh. Ever day heading back to the uh, library? Mm-hmm. Mm, good, okay. Yep, I will become my yeah. nerds. It's okay, I will conclude the throne room scene then in all its entirety. Um, there's no retroactive activity can happen. And uh, mm -hmm. he's head all the way over to uh, Dunder Bell again. Damn it! That's key. That's that's code for we missed something crucial that we should have investigated for. No, I just don't want somebody later to say, "Could I have palmed something on the way out?" Fair. Yeah. AKA Kitty. <laughs> More chunk. Yeah, true. Mhm. Mm I'm checkpointing that. So anyway, library, Dondra Bella, books, chunk of throne. You just get back there. Obviously, you've got some people trying to like fix the door. Uh, right. And it, it to her, so fragment of the the throne itself. You think this will do? So she kind of crawls out from underneath her desk. It's like, oh, and she kind of just looks at it for a bit. She's like. It's a lot um, smaller, <laughs> kind, of, kind of less intimidating, you know, in, in, when it's in pieces, <laughs> you know. She had like a very kind of like morose tone about herself as well, like very um, like sad, I guess. Yeah. Is it is it kind of like this throne is like a figure to the people that kind of like a symbol of the... I mean, keep in mind, right, so, like, it proves they could negotiate with dragons, right? Yeah. Evil dragons, as they are, like, you know, feared, and, like, the king of dragons, right? Uh, whom, mm. And they have a symbol of peace and safety in that chair. Oh, I see. So she's feeling very mortal. Yeah, or just that a piece of history has been destroyed, right? Possibly a future but, but, has been destroyed. Yeah, but also dragons. <laughs> and also dragons. <laughs> that too. And keep in mind, her speciality was dragons. So. So 
Sorry, if yep. I can read that. So I'll say, would you do the honors? Just let her have it. Like she kind of like looks at it without touching it for a bit, as if she's almost like a bit too um, in awe to even like, touch it. And then eventually she kind of like picks it up and kind of like turns it over in her hands. And you're like, you think it'd be cold, right? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to ease the tension with like jokes. Yeah, but also <laughs> maybe the fact that she is just genuinely like, why isn't it cold? Yeah, because it's a piece of ice. You uh-huh. play horrible sitting on a cold piece of ice all these years. You don't, you don't know some of the kings we've had, huh? And uh, <laughs> she looks over and she goes, "You'd then not wonder if they couldn't have kids <laughs> if the throne actually was cold." <laughs> I kind of say I've wondered that. Um, she looks over the air, I think, and she goes, Oh, well, this'll do. Um, she looks over the goes, The book. And she just looks at everyone and she looks at Crumbar. Oh, just there. Uh... You know, son, I'm glad I didn't open it first. You were aware of that? Everybody was. Crumbar. Like, you got smacked off the door that dehinged the door <coughs> to the library where she works. Yeah, but I didn't know It wasn't that, like, subtle. Like, every, everybody yeah, knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> just below the side said, quiet, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, just heard, you just heard in the background, shh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just be like... Well, I don't think that's going to happen again. And she just looks at you and she's like... Do you I want mean, to open the book? <laughs> <laughs> well, she looks at you and she's like, I mean, forgive me if I don't take you at your word. I'm taking think Don't worry. You've not offended me. I just like that Cronbar says, I'm taking it. It's so glorious. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like that awkward thing where she goes, oh, happy birthday, you too. Uh yeah. <laughs> Cringe. God, you know. It's horrible. Um, <laughs> or, you know, hi, mom. You know, something that cringes there. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, worse when you called your teacher mom. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, my yeah. fuck. But yeah, I think that's just a mark of honor for any what? teacher, though, right? Yeah. Um, did, did that never happen to you? No, never. It's just a thing that <laughs> some kids end what? up doing where they just say, you know, mom, I mean, miss, whatever the teacher's yeah. name is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just a thing. And and you die a little bit inside when well, yeah, yeah. you never recover from it. That is the scar that lives with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Like I don't remember doing it, I just feel in my bones I did. Do you know that way? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. No, I, remember. There, Sophie? I remember vividly doing it. Same. Nope. Just unmuting. Cool. Um, Sorry, what? Just Sophie unmuted. I thought she was about to speak, but then didn't speak. So mm. here we are. No, I'm just, I've got a really bad hay fever and I just don't want to annoy everyone with the sniffling. Okay. I thought I'd got it under control, but I think it's coming back again. Probably because we spoke about it. Yep, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I should start <laughs> running no, again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Arya, do you hand the book back over? Yeah, yeah, I do. And it's like sad because it's like getting. Yeah. You know, losing touch, not touch. Um, I mean, yeah, like it was that, in yeah. my grasp, and it was kind of like not really my baby, but you know what I mean. Like it was like the last thing we knew of him being good and sweet and a nice kid. Mm. So basically, I do hand it over, but you do see mm. that I'm struggling because I want to keep it to myself and like hug it to my chest and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, she takes the book and then like gets what looks a bit like a like a wooden ruler or something out of the uh, the drawer and then just like pokes the book a bit with it and then like flicks open the page really really slowly as it then thuds and is open and she then opens her eyes and looks at the book after having kind of scrunched them shut. It's like. Okay. Right, well, it didn't happen again, that's good. Um, (laughs) 
Hmm. Let's Is see. something the matter? And she looks and goes, you know, this takes time, right? Do you want to do it? <laughs> Grum. Not. No, 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 please continue. Aye, well, I'm going to need about 10 minutes. And by about, I mean exactly 10 minutes as per what the RPG rulebook says. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she does not say. <laughs> She's probably got it in the library this time. Somewhere, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's in the forbidden one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so she takes the, the big chunk of crystal that you've got and she sits it with like a, one of the, the flatter faces, um, kind of pointed like up. I am Magic 8 Ball style. And uh, she then starts muttering away in some kind of weird arcane dwarven, you know, starts waving her hands over it. And um, the crystal starts to be like infused with like magic from her hands. And like the words that she's saying seem to be forming runes that seem to be wrapping around the crystal. Um, again, infusing it. Things like, you know, answer unclear, ask again later, the stars say yes. <laughs> You know, all confusing into the uh, the crystal shard, and uh, yeah. So here's the thing, right? Let's talk about how the spell works because there's a saving throw to be made, right? Uh. But I need one of you to act as the conduit. So, and I guess she's like muttering away during this ten minutes. She looks up and she goes, Right, well, you have the most connection with this assassin, so, you know, the book is going to be how we start the search, but one of you is only to act as the conduit, the needle, as it were, for the compass. I say, Aria, she's already on some dark magic shit. <laughs> Oh, Strong connection to him. Yeah, Cumbers had the strongest connection recently, anyway. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Boy, dad. A boy as well. Yeah. But with Crumbar, yeah, just all at the door. <laughs> what say? Mm. Do you want to be the conduit? Um, I'd say either me or Arya. So. Well, maybe there's the scene where you look at each other then. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, um, me or you or. Can we can we both be the conduit? And then like as she's like, as she's muttering away, she's like she looks up and she's like Probably not. It'd be very nice if you could hold hands and make it all work, but I mean unfortunately it has to be one. Two needles would get confusing. Uh, uh, so it's gonna be a magic y thing, so chances are it's gonna be like yeah. Gonna... yeah, I'll step forward. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing is, just to give you a wee bit more information, right? You have different types of magic, right? I Somebody's know. part of the earth, another person's part of like divinity. So, it's up to you if you think that's going to make a difference. But these are both magical in different different ways. Um, no, uh, to be honest, I was just looking at my quite high scores for saving throws or on <laughs> intelligence and wisdom, so I was like, That's eh, quite I suggested, like, if, if, if the spell attacks her mind or something, yep. she'll resist it yep. more. Exactly. Mm. Or if there's a I'm not afraid of weird save. magics. Mm. Mm. So what's the thoughts, guys? The only thing you yeah. know is that somebody will need to act as a conduit. Yeah, I'll go uh, for I, it. I think Andrew's kind of volunteered herself, so... Yeah, on you go, love. So you step forward? Yeah, yeah. And she looks around at the group and she goes... Did be me. She looks and she's like... Aye, I'm sure you didn't know him. And then uh, she like gestures to like take your hand. She puts like both of her hands out as all this energy is swirling around the chunk of crystal in the middle. Sure, I reach out towards her own hand with mine. Um, so she's got like both hands out, like um, like a fortune teller that was wanting to read both palms. Oh, okay. Ah, like... uh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and then I put both my hands into her yep. palms. Sort of and then like thing. she like pulls you kind of like closer so that they're sat parallel to the crystal in the middle. Okay. And she looks and she says, 
Now you need to keep your mind open while focusing on the assassin. And she's kind of like nodding slowly, like breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Like you can see the magic starting to like envelop and it seems to be less focused on Dondrabella now and it seems to be like as if Dondrabella is shifting the focus of the spell over to, you know, again, multiple uses of the word focus here, but yeah, she seems to be like infusing the spell to work from Arya instead of her. And then she takes the book and sits the book down and then lifts the, uh, the crystal and just sits the crystal like on the book itself. And then she takes your hands and puts them like palms down on either side of the crystal where it's sat on the book. So you've got like a hand on each page. Okay. And you can kind of feel the magic like resonate from the book and the crystal and you. And I need to know what your spell save DC is, are you? Oh, um... I need to figure out where that is on my page. So it's on your spells page. Plus six. One sec, one sec. Uh, fourteen. Okay. Yep. So. Cool. Okay. So, the way this spell works. This is scrying, it's called. Okay. Mm. It is, you can see in theory particular creature you choose that's on the same plane of existence as you. You must, sorry, the target must make a wisdom saving throw, which is modified by how well you know the target and the sort of physical connection you have to it. If a target knows you're casting the spell, it can fail the saving throw voluntarily if it wants to be observed. Sure. Okay, so the knowledge saving modifier. Okay, so second hand, first hand, familiar, right? I would say you have definitely met the target, which is first hand, and I would say you're you're pretty familiar with the target. Okay. So is the, sorry, is, what's the target? Is that the book? Hermos. All oh, right. Okay. So you are familiar, which is a minus five to the modifier. Okay. Which okay. is a good thing. Now the connection is a likeness or a picture or a possession or garment or a body part, lock of hair, a bit of nail and the like. You just have a possession or garment, right? So possession. And that is a minus four. So at the moment we're at a total of a minus nine. Nice. Okay. okay. On a successful save the target isn't affected, and you can't use the spell against it for 24 hours. On a failed save, the spell creates an invisible sensor within 10 feet of the target. You can see and hear through the sensor as if it were there. The sensor moves with the target remaining within 10 feet of it for the duration. A creature that can see invisible objects sees the sensor as a luminous orb about the size of your fist. Instead, of targeting a creature, you can choose a location you have seen before, um, and you send the sensor there, essentially. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. This is crying. Okay. So, they have a minus nine, and they need to be a 14. Okay. Okay. Mm Their commands. Two seconds. <laughs> Been there, done that. It's because you just won't see this roll. This is a GM roll. Okay. Right, okay, now I don't do some maths. So, you yeah. you feel the spell 
complete, right? You feel the weight of the spell in your mind, like the concentration of it. Okay. Okay. And you... You see nothing. You see blackness. Right. Did you get all that? Oh, sorry, I was muted. I said, I, I basically would have said, I don't think this worked, guys. And then you feel don't the spell break. Probably oh. too far gone for us. So, to describe it fully, right? Everything that Arya experiences, you have the weight of the concentration in your head, and then you see blackness, and then you feel the spell break as all the darkness, like, see as if somebody was pulling a cover off of like a cart, and you're in the cart. Do you know what I mean by that? So if you're looking up at the cover, and it's all been like pulled away, you feel that as the spell breaks. Okay. As if all the darkness was being pulled away. Wow. Okay. Welcome to my world. So it sounds like the assassin's in a different plane of existence. Mm -hmm. Who do we know who's good at those? Eremos. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard King as well, yeah. So what do you tell the group besides, uh, I don't think it worked? I'll tell them that it was just lack. I couldn't see anything, I couldn't hear him. I'll just kind of button and just be like, when I was in that book, Everything was black. Do you think that's where he resides now, in the shadows? In darkness and... In books? Like, Probably I think... not safest in a library. Mm. I'll just say, <laughs> I, I I, think he's been in the book the whole time. And Remember this, is. kids at home, books are bad for you. They can yes. still <laughs> stay away from books. <laughs> Your enemies are within the pages. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're in a mist game, Stu. <laughs> Find me the blue pages. <laughs> so, um, Dundra Bella sits back at that as well, and she's like, whew. It's a. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I've cast spells. Oh. Then she, like, leaned into, like, her bottom drawer and pulls out some kind of, like, stone bottle thing. She lifts up and uncorks and then just starts drinking from the bottle. <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? I'll just kind of giggle and just be like. Um. Was the spell that bad? Ask your friend. I only had to start it, she had to hold it. And she offers the bottle to you, are you? Yeah, so I thought it was crumble there for a minute. That was just a mistake. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not that boy, Jews. no, it's it's to Arya. Yeah, no, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to, like, figure out and process. Whether you take it... the bottle from her or not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, sorry. That, I, I, I would, that, that wouldn't be a problem. I'm just, you know, trying to, like, in my mind, figure it all out. Because to me, the character, I don't know if that means the spell, spell has failed or if he's in a really dark, awful place. So I'm guessing that would be very heavy on, on Arya's mind right now. Yeah, the image I've got is you take the bottle, but you're not really... You just kind of like hold it and then just kind of sit it on the desk and you're still staring, thinking. You've not even looked yeah. at it. 
Yeah. I think maybe after like a couple of seconds, like Dundrell just leans forward and takes the bottle back and continues to drink from it. When she notices you're not going to take a swig from it, mm. she's going to lean in and be like, I'm going to keep mm. drinking then if you're not. <laughs> yeah. And after, I, I think I can eventually snap out of it. And I think like uh, what maybe will snap out of it is Dundra Bella will say, she's like, I'm guessing it didn't work then by the look on your face. You've gone several shades paler. I'm not sure if it didn't work or if he's just in a dark place. Is it all just blackness when it doesn't work? She kind of uh, just nothingness. shrugs and she's like, I've never cast that spell before, so I have no idea. Oh. Hey, high five. <laughs> Do you actually try to high five her? <laughs> yeah. I would say read the room, but it might take you a while. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I was just say I thought the same when I brought your king back to life. She kind of then spits out whatever was in her mouth, and she's like, "What?" <laughs> Oh yeah, that happened. Laugh. <laughs> and she just um, yeah. she leans back and she goes, Hella will be furious. Well, so the I'm guessing it's trying her. to keep it a secret then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait a second, so if his if his people don't know I'm being a bit pissed off here. Like he's not been telling his people what has happened. Uh, it's it's only been like a two hour, an hour. I guess. I guess. Uh, I think we're maybe think we're, cl we're closing in on two. Yeah. You made me realize, made me think that perhaps he's not being as is is. Maybe as well, a king, you don't want to say, "I died today." <laughs> and an outsider I saved died. my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, an outsider didn't. Technically. Oh, that's... Yeah. Yeah. I'll just quickly ask her, how can I make a? Depends on how we lie on that conversation where you just say I give up being part of the Dwarf Kingdom, right? Because that's maybe the tentative part of the conversation. Oh, yeah, we have to, uh -huh. we have to meet him again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I think uh, we get somebody clearing their throat in the doorway. Oh. And it's the king who walks into the room. <gasps> okay. What king? Dad's home. The... Probably the dwarf king in the dwarf kingdom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just making sure. Just making yeah, cause, sure. Sorry, because Magnus is the type of person that clears his throat, or the dragon would like. Yeah, I feel like there are the dragon dwarf kings. Clean your throat. You want to leave yeah. the room? <laughs> 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 That's clear but them. see, be fair, right? It's actually valid, right? See, the more you think about it, yeah, maybe it was a valid question. Which can, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yep, it's fine. We, we all forgive you this time, and we all forgive ourselves too. Um, but yeah, so Dwarf King clears his throat and walks in, clearly walking into something a bit mysterious. And he says, Well, and Dondra Bella like, stands up really quickly and like hides the bottle um, and kind of like says, My king, and like puts like a hand across her, her chest and kind of like bows, and he's, like, he waves his hand like, I don't have time for this. What did you learn? You appears to be in another realm. And narrows his eyes. A heretical assassin, then. Like a crumble. And he's kind of like pissed. he's like the the king's obviously like kind of like absent-mindedly like touching the chest, like where the wind would be. Hmm. Um, I walk up to the book and open it again. It's still open. It's open on the table and the, the gems on top of it. Okay. Uh, As per I the entire description of the spell. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, no, I thought she would like put that away or something because the spell had ended. Um, yeah, I'll uh, move the gem off the top and flick through the pages. Yeah. The king just kind of stands there looking at the group and says, 
Well, we have a conversation to finish. And that's where we end the session, obviously. <laughs> Fuck! Such a thorn in our side. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Leave it. <laughs> Just leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quick, everybody in the book. <laughs> 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 It's our only way out. Um, what do you want to call this session? Oh, bloody hell. Um, that was sick. No, <laughs> wait, to begin with the name. Ah, ah, I've got an idea. Um, Me too. I'm just typing it up just now. On the same page. Because hmm. I said it earlier and I thought, ah, that, that, that fits. Mm. But any other suggestions from other peoples? <laughs> Books are bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, to be fair, this is why uh, Eric had the right idea of throwing his book into that lightning field, remember? Yeah. Man. <laughs> A wee uh. bit of muse inspiration there, was it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would suggest um, maybe it would be I'm, black I'm... books and revelations then, if that was the case. Um, any other ideas? Any other suggestions? Mm. Or indeed totes? I am trying to. Oh, think. yeah, but. Clank, clank, clank. I believe that was Katie Kimberly. Um, so I'm trying to have, have, a, have a think. It's a steel, but. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you two. Well done. I look at the three of us. I'm, look, <laughs> obviously I've got I mean, and revelations. It kind of has to be that. Then. <laughs> it's oh, all at the same time. <laughs> I thought that was a. I thought that was a. Uh, if you've not watched Black different. Books, you must watch Black Books. By the way, yeah. now tonight. Yeah. We're not you even sleep. sponsored by it, but yes, do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I want yeah, to I clean your dusty job. cups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're we going for black books without the end revelations part. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think black like books is good. Yeah. Yeah. I think it works. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> seems well, to fit. Is... Yeah. So yeah. obviously in, in Skyrim, you like you go and find the black book. And then they suck you into apocrypha let's, like black let, ink let's, everywhere. Let's not give them more credit than they they've been out for too long. <laughs> right. It um. was a three hundred IQ play. <laughs> um Right. So goals. Talk me through them. <clears throat> uh, I mean Go. we saved the Dwarf King! Yay! Kind of no pleasantness, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Kind of wish we didn't. Um, <laughs> I mean, you, ha you have completed that goal, so wishing you hadn't doesn't really matter anymore unless, like, Crumbar wishes he hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> why why <laughs> would... Oh, All right, I see <laughs> what you did why, why would it matter if I... Because you have a wish spell, Crumbar, that's why it would matter. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, you could just have asked your sword. Where is Eremos? Yeah. But I believe the Wizard King would block that. Mm. But did Actually, you... it might just have said in Adri's backpack. <laughs> which would have been, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then then Crumbo's like, who the hell's Adri? Yeah. <laughs> right. Just like, book says no. <laughs> right, does somebody want to move the goal over to the completed list? Because look at that, guys. A completed goal. I forgot right. what that felt like. <laughs> what is this feeling? Uh, where are they? They're at the right. Um, Pop it to the bottom of the right column. There we go. Done. <laughs> and we need to put something else here. Oh god, why is that not wrapped? Oh god. I don't know what it is. There we go, okay. thank you. Perfect. What? What did you do that I did differently? This is confusing. It's just the other yeah. thing wasn't formatted, that was all. The original one. Oh. Uh, to be fine, fine, wrapped. Fine. Right, so. Any other goals that you feel were completed? Um, no. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay, I, any goal ideas 
for goal slot number three now. Regain Air Master something. Get Air Master to regain, join the party. Draw him out. Smoke him. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I mean, uh... Unlock Air <laughs> Master's power. Oh, that was completed right. And that's good ideas. Uh... <laughs> right, okay. I mean, we could like, yeah. Um... No, because I... Scott's, Scott's way to solve that, Stu, was throw him into the abyss. Yep. Yeah, well, it might have been part of the answer. You never know, but that now has got a line through it because it's happened. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um. All right. So let's try and get on the same page about this. So well, he's having a think as well. Let's deal with the fact that everybody got six hundred XP there. Let's not shy away from that Yay. fact, shall we? Yay! Money, money, money. Six hundred. Yeah. So Sick. Well, that's an awkward one. Two or two uh, double. O. So what we are two 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 one two, isn't it? I love your math. Twenty two hundred. What sorry? Two zero two zero zero. So twenty two hundred. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. I still prefer Crumbar. So I type that one out. Twenty twenty oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twenty twenty O oh, indeed. Yes. It really yeah, be bloody is. <laughs> it is on the uh, session tracker if you ever need to see these totals, by the way. Um It's at the bottom. Where the session gets oh. marked. Oh. Yeah. Also that was the first session of a uh, chapter eight, by the way. Chapter seven was warm reception and cold comfort. Oh. Mm -hmm. Damn. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. everybody should have two zero two zero zero for their mm -hmm. XP total. Good. And when's our next uh, big checkpoint? Tomorrow. I think it's twenty seven thousand, by the way. But well, twenty three. Yeah. Twenty three, is it? Still. Oh, it is. It's twenty three thousand. No, it's not that far away at all. It is, in fact. Eight hundred and three, two thousand, two thousand eight hundred. Is that right? It's far yep. enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's too far. Mm -hmm. Just think how much XP he's got for like combats and stuff previously, though, right? Like, I don't, I don't oh, that's true. Yeah, let's start a fight next session. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a dwarf king in front of us. Yeah, right. We're yeah, let's not do dwarf. that. <laughs> we already are told yeah. we're not allowed to leave. Better yet, we have a weak. We have a weakened dwarf king in front of it. Oh yeah, But yeah, no, Adri's probably right. We've already been told we're not allowed to leave. Yeah. So let's go chat about that goal. That goal number three, right? Very quickly. What's the thoughts? Have you got any glaring, obvious suggestions that we should have for that goal? Convince the king to let us out. Do Do we think we have the time? Uh, to, to like hunt him down to own realm. To, What's that? Hmm? What do, you... do we think we have the time, like with the demons and stuff, to go to Aramos in his Well, I mean, his book's right there. We just, I was yeah. trying to find a I, by opening it, I was hopefully going to try and find a way back into it. Just stay well clearly by heavy uh, doors. I don't know. I don't know if it's like putting on a pair of like, can I just wear the book? Get in, but I assume, but because Don Trebella read it, work well, probably be like a massive thing to enter another realm. But I mean, I've done it a few times now, so oh, yeah, <laughs> we just need more vampire juice. Uh, so track down the vampire man, find oh. out his supplier of maybe wine, yeah. and then <laughs> of maybe wine. <laughs> Uh, what about MDLs, right? So, is there uh, also, like, are, is your plan to still work on goal four? There is a good point, right? Like, is are faced with the, let's finish the conversation properly with the king, right? Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, a lot has happened since, right? A lot. You just know who's responsible. Um, the king didn't die. <laughs> the king did die, and you undid that. <laughs> <laughs> and that cost Bastille more than he'll know. 
Fuck. Ouchie. But Ouchie. The, uh... Yeah. Like... You just have a bit more to play with, right, than you did before, but at the same time, you know, as far as the king's concerned, you planned to risk the safety of Forge anyway, so, hmm. Uh, I think we should wait on that one for one more session, just see if his outlook has changed after we've saved his life. Well, so you want to leave four, say, get the dwarves to help us at their stall? Because, I mean, you never know. You just could say, well, we just literally brought you back from the dead. Hella ain't got nothing on you now thanks to us so could you perhaps pay her back and all the dwarves that will die fighting at the abyss thumbs up <laughs> yeah that's what i'm thinking we can definitely still try that one right okay yeah i think so yeah i am um, obviously you've got get the hellblades assistance with hunting a vampire oh we've got a lot to do i don't know do we have time for that who wants to do that mm, we should need to wait and see Thing is, as well, if you've got nothing to replace it with, because we're still got a blank slot for mm -hmm. three as well, there's no point in donating oh, yeah. ones. Um, unless there's ones from the list of ideas at the left that you want to put back. Could in. just stick the language one back in, but getting out of here would be the mass vote. Mm. Try and persuade where, the dwarf king that lockdown's not going to work. Where would you <laughs> Where would you want to go then? There's a better question, right? You say get out of there, but is your plan to still try and like head north, or is it to go back south? Probably go with the wizard king well, okay. and see what he says. Uh, but... mm -hmm. We've done your bell. Yeah, we could do some meat to throw at him. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Savage. <Like>. Savage. <laughs> we don't have any must chuck any battles anymore. So... Mm. <laughs> yeah. Right, children, we move on to the. Yep. <laughs> Women and children <laughs> first, apparently. Try the young ones, try the old ones now, yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever does, is that so, Arya? What's uh, Arya's focus now, right? What's th What should the next goal be, as far as you're concerned? What's the priority? Not really sure. Because, obviously, this is a big revelation for her. She'd put, like, a lot of stock in the idea that we'll some point come and save the kid, and then he's not a kid, he's a freaking grown-up and a murderer at that. So, oh, Technically, you have undone she's... the fact that he's a murderer. He's still a murderer. <laughs> like, just because we cheated and, and, and brought out the person doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Yeah, you cheated her. Oh. Yeah. Uh, make a real point oh, yeah, that's that. going to have consequences. <laughs> Um, but, I mean, yeah. would you be annoyed if you were a god expecting a mighty soul? Tasting morsel. Mm -hmm. mm. Emphasis on soul. I don't know. But the idea is she's going to be quite freaking confused as to what's going to happen next because as far as she's concerned, up is down and down is up right now. Um, and so some of the she's churches are up and some of the churches lost. are down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. She's going to be a bit lost and kind of like almost deferring to the to the others okay. as to what needs well, to be done right them, now. Right? Are we still going to try and find the white dragon? That's goal number one. Yeah. Yeah. No. That that's not going to change. I don't think. Yeah. She's going to really be fun. making any decisions right now. Right. How does the rest of the group way, feel uh, for that out of interest for goal one? Um, no, I think it's definitely going to be because definitely think it's going to be one that we're going to need to pursue anyway. Because end of the day, it's kind of the entire reason why we're up here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, goal two is obviously investigate sure what the mistress of the flame is. I feel like that's going to stay. Yeah. Uh, obviously we could go for that's staying get the dwarves to help us at the because I assume he's going to try still so I think that's what, 3 and 5 that are potentially changeable um... hello? hello what about Sorry, for I think 3? My, I think my internet just dropped out for a second there oh no yeah, what about for 3 we just have like save Eremos was that save Eremos? yeah 
dogs. You, so. Is that something you're going to want from, to be a part of, though, Bastille? Like from the Dwarf King or from the Wizard King? <laughs> or from <laughs> everything? <laughs> from himself? <laughs> from Crumble? Probably. Oh, no, we, need, we actually genuinely have a goal. We need the spit. To get that spit. So we, we kind of have to do that, don't we? That's our first goal, by the way. Mm-hmm. A yep. year ago, that plus. Was, yeah. yeah. Well over a year ago, it was uh, the first goal. Don't let yeah. the spear fall into the wrong hands. Well, the first <laughs> one was actually yeah, was get the Black Fang spear. Yep. spear. Yeah. Yep. Literally, the party saw the end of the world happen. Right? Oh. Um, yeah. What about that then? Recover the Black Fang spear? Hmm. And that would probably encompass, like, we could try and save him, convince him to not be a dick anymore. <laughs> Big problems with that is, though, is getting to the Wizard King. Uh, he controls the water, and water is the only way to get to him. Unless you can do something else. Magic portals was a bad idea. Uh, yeah, Eric, Eric kind of died, nearly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he had a god hammer. Yeah, I was forced to end up having tea with the Wizard King because of it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, that was that the first time was he that was another using time his was hammer. That? <laughs> remember, he was using his hammer to travel a bit, and then he got lost because he fell through a boat. Remember, um, when you were sailing towards Horizon, he decided to use the hammer in the part of the boat. He fell through, and then ended up in the red space area. And then he met some guy, and the guy's like, "My name's Magna," and everyone's like, "Oh damn!" And he was like, "What does that mean?" And everyone's like, oh, "He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's the Wizard King." <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Callum's like, "Damn, it's the Wizard King!" And then they had tea and watched some like gladiatorial wrestling. And I mean, because why not? Right? Yeah, they had a bro date. And then uh, <laughs> it was it was when he went back to after the house fell, and he went back with uh, all the the convoy of people that he's flooded uh, Glitterhagen with. You know, those not infected people. <laughs> um, when you took them back to Glitterhagen, he went to like the crater, and there was like a, like a, a weird magical note that said your family are in Omen, from Magna, basically, and he went to use the hammer to go there. And as he went to strike the ground, Celeste's hand came out and just stopped the hammer connecting with the oh. ground. And she went, "That was foolish. You just died." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because he tried to use a mm. god teleporting hammer that to was get quite to funny. Omen, and the subtlety to that was anyone trying to get to Omen without the Wizard King's say so is a uh, blocked sometimes into death. So you don't want to be able to teleport there, Bastille, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Official channels would be good. Yes. <laughs> Um, but not that you would know a lot of this, you know. The Wizard King's relatively new for you. Um, I'm gonna piss off every god ever. <laughs> it's also kind of one of his goals, I think. Um, but yeah, so oh, that's the thing. So you could um, you could try and follow up in Magna. You could try and uh, maneuver the Dwarf King in more ways than just getting him to help the Citadel. I guess you could. I don't know. You've got a whole bunch of avenues. It just depends where you as a group want to like. Where do you see the group going after Forge? I think it's a good question. What is the next place you want to get to? Is it just the White Dragon or is it Magna? If that's the two big figureheads we've got, is it trying to follow up on where the hell Justoria, that one super powerful ally you had, was? Yeah. So. I think. Mm. I think we all want to recruit Dondrabella and go on a sick of adventure <laughs> to the dragon. <laughs> dragon! <laughs> um. I mean, I'm not against this. Uh, you well. just you just need to have that one particular thing complete, remember? Have a plan. Come up with a plan. Or yeah. or just like in broader stroke. Uh, acquire Dondrabella. Yeah, it's like, you know, acquire a new party member, Dondrabella. Like, that, <laughs> yeah. I don't mind if that's a goal if you want it to be a goal. Um... That does not bug me at all. You just know the, how to achieve that is actively have a convincing enough plan that will mean she will leave Forge. I mean, she kind of wanted to get married. That was her reason. 
Oh, she wanted to no. see a marriage through, I think, is what she was really getting at. <laughs> so, if we were to kill her fiance. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I totally win her over. Going a small book away from that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's like, uh, yeah, Mr. Fiance, do you want to read this book? Um, <laughs> so, quite a punchy ending. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, any. Then you only write in. Then, any any wording, use of uh, sort of. I think you're right. Gain a party member would do it. That's... Yeah, I'll, I'll write it. Just write gain Don Drabella. You just want that. <laughs> Add it to inventory. I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, it does make it a bit more specific as well. That's just a shorter term goal because the rest we'll, we won't go any be for ages. Just do the other. I'm just saying. Keep in mind, you can shelf like something like the Find the White Dragon. You can shelf, and then you could put in something like you know, the first step that you think that ten step plan might be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Find post. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I figured. Cool. We've got Dunda Bell added there. Cool. Good, good. Uh, any other goals that need to change? Are we happy with the, re the list? We'll have a chat about them at the start of next week as well, and we'll see how they they go mm -hmm. um, well, our next session. Uh, beyond that, though, let's just do some wrap up chat. So I think what I want to do is let's leave. I'm gonna leave Arya till last this time, and let's just start with Stu. Stu. <sighs> Did work actually. We did manage to save him. Yeah. So that's good news. Yep. That was, yeah. So it's uh, all got XP. Always good. Um, I like XP. Yep. Mm. I like money. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, anything else? Uh, still no idea what we're going to be doing. But other than that, yeah. Yeah, you just need to think of a way to. Um, yeah. I think we as well just getting a good wee here to sleep in and just yeah, get used to it for a while. Yeah, like uh, maybe try and wait out the demon invasion in Forge. Yeah, yeah. just let it open, <laughs> see see how the game goes. Play the post-apocalyptic version start of it. chapping on the d door here. Then we know. Look, told you. <laughs> yeah, see, like, too late now though. Yeah, yeah. Games mm. bogey. Yep. It just becomes the campaign of stuck inside the vault city. I guess. Um, you know, keepers of the Golden Gate Fallout edition. Um, <laughs> oh man, imagine being stuck in the vault. Oh god, no thanks. Uh, but anyway, so it, let's just sum it up this way, right guys? You just want to complete five goals to level minus any combat, right? Yep. So that is the thing to focus on. Mm -hmm. Five goals, you just level up. And maybe four goals in some combat, or maybe three goals in loads of combat. You just never know. But that's what you are looking at in terms of making goals manageable and also like, you know, pursuable. Uh, besides that, uh, anything else you want to add to do? No, that's okay. Yeah. Cool. Get loath, Sophie? It's just when you think something's going in like a singular direction, it's something just comes along and just... <laughs> Stabs it in the heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty spot on analogy. <laughs> Hit the nail on the heart. Oh. <laughs> oh man! Was so that? I just sort of want to know if the king is obviously sped up the time in whatever place has been keeping Eremos, and it's like, God dang it, freaking time capsule thing in King Dragon Ball Z. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the hyperbolic time chamber. chamber. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. I mean, you had to get through that weird coma shield that Eremos had somehow, right? So. Remember the thing that just said mean, stop constantly? Yeah. Mm. It sort of makes sense <laughs> if we put it like that. He just fast forwarded it. That was all. There was a button <laughs> on the side, like an old VCR. <laughs> I, uh, I totally want to punch the Wizard King in the face, though. <laughs> Anything mm. else you want to add there, Sophie? No, I think that's just about it. It's okay. Uh, Crumbar? Scott? Just, I'm. Um, Glad I didn't die in a book, which would, was nice. Yeah, that um, happens way too often, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, just kind of going off of what Sophie said. It's like, yeah, it's you do feel like 
we're going in one direction. I'm like, yeah, it's cool because what we'll do is we'll we'll get the dwarf king to agree to help us. Then we'll go find this. Uh, yes, this he did. Vampire. Yeah. And if you just like, said, right, okay, cool, bye. I wonder yeah. what would have happened. <laughs> Same, but then like we would have went and killed that, found that vampire guy and fought him, and then we would have got the red dragon to help us, and then we would have went back <laughs> to the abyss, and then we'd find the abyss that was actually getting led by that red robe guy, and I would finally get to punch him in the face, and then <laughs> um, then we'd go and find Justoria again, and then be like, oh look, she's all better, cool. Now we're gonna go and punch the wizard king in the face and get back Eremos. But no, Ryan has shit on my dreams and I have no idea what's happening now. So what you're really saying is that first quest I gave you is I've put you back on track, is what you're saying. Mm. It's like, no. what's that? The Black Fang Spear was relevant the whole time. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I mean, just didn't know exactly what it meant. Mm -hmm. I don't think it ever stopped being relevant. It's just the way that we had to get it was it was like, okay, we need to help Justoria. Okay, right. Yeah, she wants all these hell they want she wants all these hell demon portals closed. Okay, right, okay, now there's a big one down at the abyss, so that's gonna need to get done. All we want is a ferry over to the fucking wizard king so that we can punch him in the face and get our boy back. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a goal he's put in. <laughs> Through the homie. Travel to Omen. Yeah, because we had other shit to do first. See? <laughs> um, yeah. Sure, yeah. Never mind, like, poor Gil as well. Oh, he's 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 toast. Stressed he out as a Drekka. Poor Gil. Um, Red Robe Man. The trio with the awesome gnome. Um, yeah. well, I honestly thought it was them who was being all stealthy assassin -y types. Right, okay. But then obviously it turned out to me, I remember. I mean, yeah, you just you just want to find that that gnome, kill him, and steal his bag again, don't lie. No, because I don't know what's in that bag, and that bag tried to kill me. And neither does the gnome. It's okay, either. I'll I'll come help you this time. <laughs> you could try putting Aramos in the bag. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Anything else you want to add, Scott? Uh, I love you. Thank you, and it is always appreciated. Uh, Yay! Yeah. I don't want toast. Bastille, <laughs> Tran. That was a good ass time. Uh, I, I had never gotten to use Revivify on anything before. There you go. It was really tense. Yeah, right. Glad it went well. And did it on the Dwarf King, a guy you actually kind of like. <laughs> yeah, that was really sad. Not like a party member. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's always like, for me, right, see having like spells like Revivify, um, you take them because you think, oh, it's good if we can stop a party member dying, right? But yeah. then it's so formulaic and game-like, whereas the ability to bring like an NPC that's important back from being dead is way cooler in my opinion. Um, no, it's just me. Like, I don't necessarily mean I would like my party members to die. I'm just saying that that's a game <laughs> mechanic reason. Um, whereas keeping an NPC alive that's kind of important matters more to like my narrative journey, I guess. Like the yeah. Dwarf King can do yeah. more for me in my eyes than any of you technically can, even though you are technically <laughs> the main characters, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we can, we we can be replaced. The, the Dwarf King can. I mean, this from a player <laughs> yeah, point we'll of view. It's fine. We'll just be somewhere in the dungeons down in the yeah. <laughs> You get freed by that random yeah. Hellblade guy. I think I met your sister. She freed me. I'll free you. That makes us even. Um, yeah. She went that way. Watch out for the mushrooms. Um, the, the year of hell to mushrooms. Yeah. Um, yeah I want mushrooms. Anything else you want to add? Chan? Uh, no, not really. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, and that was another like surprise titan out of nowhere to have on our back. King with the hell portal. I'm gonna annoy the dragons. And now Hella is also. Uh, yeah, these titans are coming out of the woodwork now. Mm. It's all kicking off. Cool. Yep. Yep. Never mind dragons and balors at the abyss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's dangerous times. I. Arya. Adri. Tom. 
you kind of crushed some of my dreams with this session, I have to say. My, my poor Riera Moss turning out to be crooked. I did mention a couple of sessions ago my one skill is a GM. I know, I know. <laughs> it's I all know. I got. Oh. No, it's definitely not all you've got. You know, I've, I've, I've uh, praised you many, many times by now. Look at you angling for Stop a wish fishing. spell. Oh, shucks. No, no. <laughs> no I appreciate no. it. <laughs> I have to look like, humble, though. Really? Do you know me? <laughs> at all? Uh, that's not how I operate. Um, but no, it's just uh, that that was like, okay, I need to totally revamp Aria's way of thinking because mm. this changes a lot. <laughs> And, yeah, it's like um, Bambi grew up and became a dire wolf and mold hunters, isn't it? <laughs> oh. um, yeah. I, I, I have not thought of it that way before. Nobody but would. You know, <laughs> away with words that I don't. Like, so okay, that works. Oh dear. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying but, the journey. Yeah. Yes. I am. I am. I am. Even though it seems like every time I kind of know where we're going with this. Uh, uh, things somehow twist and turn, so I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. But somebody's like, put you know, the person behind me is kind of put their hands on my face, and now I can't see if we're going left or right. I know I'm on the roller coaster, but I don't know if we're gonna go left or right until mm -hmm. it starts turning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the track so, is on, yeah, 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 it's good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's really fun and and a bit crazy at times. But hey, that's uh, that that makes it even better, I guess. It's the journey, isn't it? Um, oh yes. yeah, always, well, always. I'm excited for the next session. Um, mm -hmm. I hope you all are. Thank you very much, everybody, for playing. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you for doing it. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>